Hello everyone! I got something really cool to show you today. This is a $5 game console. And yeah, so it's a little handheld from China, and uh, I got it from the UK though. It was some, uh, some like AliExpress style website over from the UK. But yeah, I paid 5 bucks for it, shipped. $5 shipped. That is amazing. And yeah, so this is the box that it came in. It came in in, the, in like a big envelope, but uh, yeah, it came with this. It also came with a little adapter for UK to US um, charging plug. And it wasn't even in the box. It was just, you know, in the package. So you could tell that this is a $5 console and they will not give us a penny more. Look at this. It's so cheap. It, there's nothing on the box. So let's go ahead and open it. I already did, just to make sure that it works. And, uh, and also that it was charged. So, uh, yeah, it, look at this. <laughs> I did not know that Sony made a mini PSP. This is so great. I mean, here's a real PSP. Here's the Fat 1000 series one. And so, yeah, you can see that it's quite a bit smaller. Yeah. Who knew that Sony made this little mini one? You see, we never get anything good here in the U.S. They, overseas customers always get great stuff. Yeah, you see, official PSP. This is great. No, I'm kidding, of course, but um, this this fucking thing has no shame. I love it. When uh, when I saw that there were different models available, like there was one that just had like a generic Chinese name and one that didn't have any game branding except for Game Player, I think. But I wanted to get the one that said PSP because I was like, holy crap. I, I think they're getting rid of inventory because if not, they're going to get sued. But uh, yeah, so I always made fun of these things for trying to mimic the PSP style. But with this one, I actually like it. It's very endearing that they went ahead and just flat out copied the PSP. And uh, it's it's actually not that great as far as build quality wise. I, I wasn't expecting much for $5. But uh, the buttons, they don't feel that bad. They're actually okay. The D-pad, it, it feels like an alright D-pad. It does. It feels okay. But it's also a mix of what I hate in a D-pad and what I like in a D-pad. This is a split D-pad, which means that these two buttons are connected and these two buttons are connected, but the whole thing itself is not connected. Watch. So you see, I press this, and you can see that that top button is moving ever so slightly. Then I press this one, and you can see the bottom button is moving slightly. But neither one of these will make the other ones... It's only going to affect this side right here and this side. Those are the only two sides that are connected, but the handheld itself the D-pad is not connected as in one piece. So yeah, otherwise the shoulder buttons are clicky, which is what you would expect in a Chinese handheld. They're not soft and, you know, Super NES-like. So that kind of sucks. The D-pad, if I mean the uh, the analog nub, it feels like a regular analog nub, whatever. Not really much to say there. Uh, it has a camera, apparently. I haven't tried the camera yet. But um, it apparently has a flash, which something tells me that's just an LED light that just blinks for a second. And um, another weird thing is that this material right here in the middle, this little sandwich layer, uh, this kind of looks like an ice cream sandwich because this part is so white. Um, and also because the material, it, it feels really weird. It's this really strange material that feels almost as if it's 3D printed, but it's not. Uh, I wonder if it'll focus in right there. I don't think it will, but uh, the material, yeah, it feels like it's 3D printed. It's very rough, uh, but I don't think it's 3D printed. I don't think th those people took the time to actually print out one by one all these things, which would take a really long time with a regular 3D printer. But let's go ahead and turn it on. And to do that, we press start. We hold down start. And I think that did. Yeah, there we go. Hell! I didn't want to go to hell. No, I'm kidding. It says hello, but... The little O is a logo. And then there's hello again. And here we go. Here's music, pictures, videos, camera, video recorder, recordings, FM radio, ebook, games, file navi, which is navigation, not navi as in Zelda, uh, tools, setting, and then back to music. So uh, I haven't really looked at this much except for the games, which we'll get into in a second. But as far as music, shoot, and you know what? The face buttons, they don't do anything on the menu. The way that you have to progress to, you know, like I want to select music is by hitting start. And then select is the back button. So you see, uh, let's go to all music. I hope it's not going to start playing it because, okay, good, it's not. Because it's all copyrighted, of course, and stolen. There's Aqua's Barbie Girl on here, <laughs> which is really cool. <laughs> That's, uh, jeez, this sleep. 
it keeps on going to sleep a little bit too easily. And look, apparently this was made back in 2006. So that's the date that it wants to default to. And uh, so yeah, there's Aqua's Barbie Girl. There is uh, Shalala. Is that that? I haven't tried that song out. Is that that song from the Dave Matthews Band? I don't think so. I think it's some... I think that uh, Shalala's song is some weird, like, Indian track. Uh, as in, like, India, not Native American Indian. And, uh, so then there's Pictures. I haven't tried out Pictures. What's on here? And yeah, and I'm, I'm not going to play that music because I don't want to get that sort of crap on my channel. Uh, okay, there's only, like, two pictures. Like, one of a landscape and the other one of a flower. And damn it, the battery's already running out. Uh, videos. What's in here? Let's go to directory list. I have no clue what those are. If it's anything important, I'll just go ahead and show you guys later. Uh, camera. <laughs> Let's see. Holy crap, this thing is horrible. Let's see. Yeah, you see, this is... Uh, look, it's 640 by 480, so whatever megapixel it said... One, no, 10, me 10 megapixel is what it said it is. I doubt it that it's that. It, it is not 10 megapixel. I, it just took a photo, but I don't know how to activate the flash. Let's get out of here. Uh, video recorder. Yeah, right. Um, uh, it, it will be there, but it's just going to be the same fucking thing as the as the camera. Recordings. Let's see if they put anything on there. Yeah, no thank you. Uh, FM radio, ebook. Ebook, I heard that there's something really, really strange on there. Uh, let me get to games first, though. Games. Alright. Damn it, it already went by two screens. Okay. So, I've only tried two of these games. Let's see what this first one is. It's uh, DuckTales 2. Which is really cool because uh, that's not a very common game. So that's really nice that they put that on here. Um, and I think you use these two buttons as A and B. But, uh, whatever. Let's, let's get out of here. Apparently, I think there are save states allowed here. But I haven't tried it out. And I keep forgetting that you have to press start and select as, you know, back and forth. It's, um, it's not very intuitive. I always want to hit the face buttons whenever I'm at a menu. Then the second one, it is Battle City. No, thank you. I hate that game. Uh, so let's exit. Third game, it is, what is this? No, don't tell me this is Battle City again. What? I haven't seen this third game, so I don't know what it is. God damn it. Okay. I don't want to play Battle City. Get out of here. What's the fourth game? Jackal! Hey, that's really cool. I like Jackal. Jackal is a great game. Alright. We all know what this is. Very cool. I like that they include Jackal. That's great. And as you can see, this is an NES emulator handheld. So, all they have on here is NES games. Uh, Super C. Cool! I like Super C. Uh, as a matter of fact, I actually prefer it to Original Contra. But that's just me. I actually grew up with Super C. I, uh... You know what? I think the buttons are reversed because I'm pressing this button to jump, and then the other button is to shoot. I think they're reversed from what they should be. But I don't know. I haven't played Super C in such a long time. Alright, so yeah. Those are the games that are on here. That's all the games that are on here. But uh, from what I've heard... From what I've been told online, this will apparently also do Game Boy emulation. Uh, they don't advertise it, but it will play Game Boy games. Game Boy and Game Boy Color, not Game Boy Advance, though. At least from what I heard. But we're, we're going to go ahead and check and see what this does. Um, oh, let me get to the uh, to the ebook part, because apparently somebody also told me that there's something really crazy here. Okay, there's this file called Beautiful Life. What is this? Beaut oh, what? Damn it, come on, stupid file system. How do you... No, leave me alone, what? Okay, how do you scroll down then? There we go. Well, damn it, okay, so that's for volume. Why does it keep wanting to do that? Stop, get out of there. This thing is so unintuitive, because again, you can't use the face buttons. How do I get out? Damn it! No. This thing is so fucking horrible. Okay, can I... 
Okay, look, the D-pad, all it does is volume. The shoulder buttons, they don't seem to do anything. Oh, wait. What? Okay, so I guess the shoulder buttons do scroll, but really, really fucking slowly. Beautiful life. Beauty. There were a sensitivity and a beauty to her that have nothing to do with looks. She was one to be listened to whose words were so easy to take to hear it. To, uh, wait, to heart. Oh my god, this thing is horrible. But, you know what, let me go ahead and try some ROMs on here. Let me try to put some NES games on here and see what it does. Uh, I'm not, I don't have high hopes for this device, but if it could just play NES games competently, and maybe some Game Boy games too, that could be a really cool little use of $5 here. But I'm not going to get my hopes up. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what it can do. And I will let you guys know. Alright guys, I'm back. I've been testing this out for about two weeks now. And I don't know how else to say this, but this is a horrible little console. It, it really surprised me. I'm amazed. Uh, amazed isn't even the right word. I'm baffled by the horrible design choices that they made. There are so many design mistakes, I guess we could call it. There, there's just so much stuff they got wrong. I, this is really one of those products from China that, like I said, I think they just dish them out to the public, they put them on the market without even testing them. They don't even give them to anybody who's ever played a game. They just put them out on the market to make a few bucks, and this is really just, just proof of that. Uh, we're, we're gonna get into all of it, but you could tell that not a lot of care was, was put into making this device. Uh, starting with the plastic, let me see if it'll, if it'll focus in right here, but the plastic is really, really low quality. Um, they just painted over plastic, and as you can see from right there, there's like a grain of sand or something that got, got on the plastic, and I guess they didn't clean it off, so they just painted over it, so there's a little bump, a noticeable bump right there. Also, same thing right there. So yeah, they did not put a lot of care into it. Also, the screen, let's see if it'll focus in uh, right there and right there there's like these little these little white spots that are in there I guess maybe I don't know some dust or something that got trapped under the screen and yeah they just assemble it like that and it doesn't bother me because when you have the LEDs on when when the unit turns on let's just go ahead and do that when it's on it's not noticeable at all against the background that's backlit of course but I know that there are a lot of people out there that that is a total OCD break uh, deal breaker right there they, they can't stand that. And by the way, this thing loves telling you there's a card in, because I have an SD card here with ROMs. Uh, it loves telling you that there's a card in, and you can't do anything until until that screen goes away. So that is just very, very annoying. And it, it goes, it takes any opportunity to tell you that there's a card in there. You're, you're going to see that. Um, another thing, uh, it is a fingerprint magnet, as you guys can see in the light right here. It just loves getting fingerprints everywhere. Um, the flash right here does not work from what I can tell. I tried everything. I tried everything because I was curious. I wanted to see like, you know, how powerful is it? You know, it, is it just a little light? What does it do? Nope. It just doesn't work at all. It's just there for decoration apparently. And, um, yeah, let's go, let's go ahead and get into the games. But you know what? Wait, wait, wait. No. Before I do that, I forgot to show you guys the manual. Um, the manual, there's not really anything interesting in here. There's a little bit of English, but it's more like poor word usage, not really like spelling errors or anything. And, uh, the only funny thing that I saw was in the FAQs, here we go. Oh, and by the way, it has a firmware update, because, you know, yeah, I'm sure that this thing, I'm sure this thing gets firmware updates. I'm absolutely positive, yeah. Um, let's see, for the FAQs, where is it? Oh, apparently, uh, it has all the normal stuff here. Cannot turn on player, cannot hear voice via earphone, you know, all those common stuff. Number five, clobber problem. What the hell is a clobber problem? I, I am reading that correctly. Check that. Number five, clobber problem. Okay, how do we, how do we fix a clobber problem? Uh, check whether the language is set correctly. What the hell is that? I, I, I seriously don't know what that is. Yeah, yeah, so the manual, it's a little fun, but not really anything there. Um, Alright, let's get into the de into the device again. Uh, there's not really anything cool going on with the apps, there's not really anything interesting there, but let's go ahead and go into the games already, because I know that's what you guys want to see. So, um, I tried a lot of different ROMs, like, uh, because, like I said, it does have, it does support Game Boy ROMs, 
but it's unadvertised. So I was like, well, you know what? Does it support Master System? Does it support TurboGrafx-16? That sort of thing. I tried them all, and no, they don't. It'll just tell you this uh, this file extension is unsupported or something. So let's go into this right here. Uh, let's check out the Game Boy um, emulation first, and because uh, that stuff is pretty interesting. Trip World. Okay, let's do Trip World. Uh, a really cool game that I have on bootleg cartridge. Don't tell anyone though. But card in. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm aware that there's a card in there. I put it in there. Thank you. Um, all right. Here we go. Sunsoft. Very cool. So it does work. But you see, the frame rate is off or something. That's not. That's not with the way that it's recorded. Um, uh, you know, going through a camera or something onto YouTube. Uh, no, it there is a noticeable frame rate problem. I think it's only going like 20 or 30 frames per second or something. And also it pauses a lot. It, it is actually really amazing that it has such trouble playing Game Boy games. Come on, please, come on. Oh, and when it pauses, I'm serious, it pauses like every two seconds, which is... Watch, look at this. Look, I'm not doing that. It's pausing the whole freaking time. Those little pauses, that's not me taking my hand off the controls. But, um, yeah, and when you pause, your keystrokes don't register. So you can miss jumps and everything because it, it just paused out of nowhere. The sound emulation isn't that bad for Game Boy, and uh, we're, we're going to check out NES too. But So you see, the sound emulation isn't bad, but just the graphics are terrible. I've never seen, I'm trying to think, I don't think I've ever seen a device that struggles with Game Boy emulation. Um, also, the sound is actually pretty loud right here, but uh, you see, I can't even make good jumps because, uh, you see, you can't jump right because it's pausing all the time. Ah, uh, this thing is terrible, terrible. And, uh, as you can probably see, oh shit, okay, I'm going to keep on getting hit if I stay here. Uh, let me get somewhere safe and then I'll show you guys something. Um, I think I'm safe here. Anyways, uh, as you guys can see, the screen, the aspect ratio isn't right, because of course a Game Boy is taller than it is wide. So this is wrong because it's wider than it is tall, so everything is stretched out. But you can actually select native screen resolution, let's go into that, press select, and that is a problem which I'm going to tell you guys about in a sec. Alright, so we go to settings, display mode, go to normal, and that will activate, oh, wait, no, no, okay, select, we go back again. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, so it, it does give you a normal screen resolution, but it's tiny. It, it's it's nearly unplayable, and it doesn't stop the skipping either. It doesn't stop the little pauses. So it's not even related to like it upscaling or anything. It it just doesn't want to do it. It's terrible. And um, yeah, that is a really tiny screen. Let me let me show you guys something. All right, here's a quarter. And so as you guys can see, that screen, it is just barely bigger than a quarter. Look at that. Yeah, it's tiny. I'm the type of person who doesn't mind the Game Boy Micro, but this screen is too small to play on. I'm sorry, I, I can't do it. And uh, let's go ahead and exit. External memory. Yeah, now it's just giving us this. Get this, when, when you're in the games menu, when you're not in file navigation, when you're just in games, it will only show NES ROMs. That's it. So you have to actually go back. Come on, everything takes a long time. Oh, card in. Thank you. I know there's a card in. I put the card in there. Who do you think put the card in there? I know there's a card in. Oh, God, this thing is so frustrating. Okay, so you have to go to File Navi, and that's where you can actually pull up stuff that's not NES, um, NES ROMs. Now you can pull up everything. So where's my... Oh, here we go. Game Boy Color and NES... And uh, you'll also notice that everything has to be in .gbc format. It, uh, it does not accept .gb format. Everything has to be in .gbc, even, even games that are not Game Boy Color games. So, um, yeah, that's how that works. But, unfortunately, it has horrible, horrible compatibility. Uh, like, watch. Uh, let's just do Shantae. Shantae is a very popular game. It's, uh, it's one of the best uh, Game Boy games. From what I hear, I've never beat it before. Okay, so card in, thank you, thank you, we know that there's a card in. Alright, now restart the game. ROM not supported currently. Not supported currently! Maybe, maybe I need to update the firmware, <laughs> maybe I have to do that. That is such a load of shit, I'm sure that that firmware thing just doesn't work. I hate that it keeps going to sleep. Alright, um, 
where oh, okay well you know what let's go to external memory we're going to be we're going to be looking at NES ROMs now Game Boy that's done with um, okay so now Game Boy has its own incompatibility problems uh, for instance uh, let's see how about uh, B52 this is an unlicensed uh, NES game and we do it ROM not currently not supported currently uh, what else? What was another one? Gimmick. Gimmick is a really good game. It uses a lot of special chips, so that one I'm actually not surprised that it won't work. Uh, and again, ROM not supported currently. So, I, I gotta say, it feels almost like it has a compatibility list in there because it tells you that it doesn't work. Where something like, um, like Battletoads. Battletoads and Battletoads Double Dragon, they will start up, but before you get to the gameplay, it'll just go to a black screen and then it doesn't work anymore. Uh, and again, this is amazing. I've never seen a digital, a handheld device in this day and age that struggles with Game Boy and NES compatibility to this extent. I can't believe it. it it's really crazy. Kirby's Adventure, I think that one doesn't work either. Let's see. Yep, ROM not supported currently. Um, basically, uh, oh, but you know what? Lil Samson does work. And um, basically, if you have to ask, then it probably doesn't work. It, don't don't try any any really crazy games on here because they're probably not going to work. Uh, Super Mario 3 Mix, uh, that's the ROM hack of Mario 3, and it doesn't work either. But Mario 3 does work. Uh, so again, that's why I'm thinking that it's like working off of some compatibility list in here. But uh, I don't know, I don't have any, any evidence to support my tinfoil hat theory besides that. But let's go into Battletoads Double Dragon because we're going to show again the aspect ratio problem. All right. Uh, or, you know what, no, no, Metroid is a better one to show for that. Okay. Alright, let's go into Metroid, and right now I'm at the, quote, normal, like, true resolution. So, th it doesn't look too bad, look. It it's okay. And then we go into the game, and the problem that we're going to have here is that it's all square. And this is something that a lot of bad emulation devices are starting to do. Um, they're starting to try to do this, like, true, um... I guess I don't think they really call it that, but it's like a like true pixel aspect ratio where they want everything to be perfectly square. But that's incorrect. I mean, NES games were played on your TV, so they were made to be a little bit wider than they are tall. And basically, the the opposite of a Game Boy. And because of that, it's really fucking up the uh, the graphics here. Watch. Okay, so there's Samus, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but okay, there's the. Uh, there's the Morph Ball power-up, and it's a little bit too tall. You see, it's kind of like an egg. It's not perfectly spherical. And then if we go back and just fill up the screen, so that way we make it a little wider, so it fills up everything. Let's see. Uh, display mode, full screen. Go back. And then now it's having the opposite problem. Now it's too wide. It's, uh, it's too wide, so it's not a perfect sphere there either. Metroid is a really good uh, ROM to test out whether the aspect ratio is right or not because that Morph Ball is always going to have to be a sphere if it is in the correct aspect ratio. Uh, and this one, it does not have either correct aspect ratio. It is, it, both of them are terrible. Both of them are bad. So, um, yeah, that's, that's really unfortunate. Uh, another problem that's having... Let's get back into the games. Another problem that you probably already saw is that... The buttons are are reversed, and we already saw that in the first uh, part of the video. Oh wait, what? It's actually working this time. Okay, but you know what? It also has lag. So you see, I was killed right there. But you know me, I could speed run Super Mario Brothers, so it's not something that I have trouble with. But you see, I can't even get the Goomba right there. There, it's a miracle I got that one. Let me try to jump. Ah, you see, I can't even jump on the pipes. Which is like the easiest thing in the world. There we go. But yeah, it has lag. It does have very noticeable lag. Um, yeah, but that surprises me. It before it was the buttons were reversed, and you even saw that in the first part of the video. But I was even having that problem up till last night, and now it doesn't seem to be having that issue. That's weird. Um, okay, so I guess that problem went away somehow. Of course, you have A, B, and by the way, these top ones, these top A and B, they're not even turbo buttons or anything. They're just A and B just duplicated. Even worse, L and R right here, they're just left and right. So, uh, let's see if you know what, let's try to get back into the game. Um, let, let me show you. Yeah, you see? <laughs> L and R, it just goes left and right. It's just these two buttons duplicated. 
And again, uh, watch. You see it's not a turbo button for jump? It is just regular jump. So again, those aren't turbo buttons or anything. These buttons are just duplicated. Those two, and then these two right here. So, what do you guys think the problem is with that? Again, with these four buttons, there are actually only two buttons. And these shoulder buttons may as well not even be there. And now that I think about it, why are they there? I mean, it's just NES and Game Boy emulation, so why the hell would you ever need them? But anyway, so these shoulder buttons may as well not be there because it's just a D-pad. Same thing with the uh, analog nub. It is just the D-pad, but in analog style. And then you have the start button right here. What are we missing? The select button. Duh. I mean, there is no select button on here. There's no way that you can use select. So do not play any games that require a select button because you just won't be able to use them. It, it doesn't exist on this machine. It also gives some really strange problems with certain games. Like, let's go into Mega Man 2, and we'll go ahead and start the game up. And as you guys know, Mega Man has such an awesome soundtrack. Listen to that. Yeah, oh, it's such a great soundtrack. Oh my god. Let's see. Oh, and all the sound effects are there. Oh, then that, that menu theme. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. I wasn't making it up. Okay, look. The controls, they fuck up, I guess, on certain games. Because, look, this is really strange. Down is up now. You see, I, I'm not making this up. Look. Okay, now it's on Metal Man. I'll press up. It's not doing anything. It's still on Metal Man. Now I press down, and now it goes to Heat Man. You see, down is up now. I don't, I don't know what the hell is going on with this thing. So, let's go ahead and start this up. And... Yeah, that, that glorious soundtrack. I don't even know if you guys can hear it, because now it's having sound issues. But, yeah, and good old Metal Man theme. Look at that. Oh my god, this thing is terrible. Okay, the controls A and B are behaving, so that's that's good. But, again, up and down are just totally messing up. And I, w I was having that problem in my testing. But I can't pin it down. I don't know what's, what's going on with that. Now, Mega Man, it's not working well. This is Mega Man 2, of course. But uh, it's having a weird little problem. Let me see if I can actually get to it. Uh, give me a few minutes to get to the part of the stage. Okay, look, here's the interesting part. Look at this. Those little can guys, they go down with one hit. And I'm not using a hacked ROM or anything. Look at this. They go down with one hit for some reason. I, I don't get it. I don't know why it's doing that. There we go. One hit. I don't get it. But, eh, whatever. I guess it makes them less of a pain in the ass. But still, it, it's not authentic, authentic to what the game is. So... It's just really strange. It, it's giving a lot of weird problems. And, uh, get this, when you get to the boss, the sound is so terrible. It sounds like you're fighting one of those, like, old 80s printers, you know, with the little, uh, little dot matrix is all when it's, like, printing. Watch this. <laughs> I love that soundtrack, right? Look. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so terrible. It, like, so many sound effects are missing and everything. And, uh, again, I even tested this ROM out. I was like, it, it, I hope it, I hope I didn't use the wrong ROM or something. But no, it's just terrible. It's just the emulation is completely unplayable here. And yeah, the compatibility is just all over the place. Like, for instance, Castlevania 3, it will work. So let's just go ahead and get into that. And uh, again, though, you can't use select or anything, but... Uh, Let's see, and, and again, look, down is up. I'm pressing down, and it's scrolling up. What the, how did they, how'd they mess that up? And again, it's so finicky, because I'm not kidding you. I've, I've played this, this in other times, and it wasn't having that problem. Other times, B and A was screwed up. I don't get it. This thing is so finicky. There's always a problem with it somehow. It's, uh, it's just unreal. I just can't believe this thing actually exists like this. <laughs> oh my god. But then again, I mean, what, it didn't have a wide release or anything from what I can tell. Um, another problem that I gotta say is that it seems to have a low battery life. I didn't drain the battery at any time, but um, apparently it seems to have a battery life of about two or three hours, depending on what you're doing. So when I was testing it, I did realize I had to charge up the battery quite a few times, and Look, you see, and now I can't get upstairs because up is going to be down. When I press down, now it goes up the stairs. Look at this. Oh, God. And it's really frustrating with a game like Castlevania because, of course, to use your special abilities, you have to um, press up and then the action key. 
and but of course you can't do that right here because uh, well I mean you can but it's gonna screw up your head it's gonna mess up the way that you play the game Ugh, this thing is so frustrating and yeah I th that's it I'm done with this thing I'm done with it I, I can't recommend this game uh, this game player I I can't even for five bucks I mean I guess for five bucks it's good as a look like a little curiosity it's just so terrible. How do they make it so terrible? I have never seen something that struggles so badly to play NES and Game Boy. It, it's crazy. It's crazy. I I almost don't believe it. But yeah, so this thing, it it is not something I could ever recommend. You guys should be happy. I don't even think it's for sale anymore on that website. But you, you should be glad that you guys can buy this because... I was willing to be super lenient with this thing. All I wanted to do was play NES, and if it, if it could even do NES well, then I wouldn't even care about Game Boy. It would just be a nice little handheld to take on, you know, a trip. It's light, it's, you know, pocket-friendly, and you can just play NES games on it. And there you go, that's all you need. There are tons of great games on the NES, enough to keep you, you know, away from boredom. But, uh, it, this thing only only keeps you next to frustration. It It is so frustrating to live with this thing. And so therefore I can't recommend it, not even for five bucks, not even for, for 50 cents I wouldn't recommend it. It's a horrible little device, it is really just, it's a blight, it's, it, it'll make a great gift. You can give this away to a kid who's been bad, okay? It's a, it's a great stocking stuffer for that. Otherwise though, I do not recommend this game console. It, oh my god, it, it's so terrible, I, I don't know why I don't want to touch it. Here, get away from me. So yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I will see you next time.